My name is Connor, and today um, my dad has drums and coffee. My dad had a wee bad haircut. So please subscribe and down below. Um, today, um, tomorrow, there's going to be awesome videos about me doing the like button. So bye. Hey, Rooney, Andrew, YouTube, up what's hey? We have got a bell brass level request from Castitis Grigonis. Now, this is a PayPal request, by the way. He went through Patreon initially, didn't like the format, so he hit me on PayPal. Way to go, Castitis. Now, his original request here was actually for Gergo Borlai, which I missed, and I did it anyway. Um, so he has made a different request now. And this is Josh Dion performing at his first ever drum festival in Seville, Seville, Spain in 2015. I'd like you to do from his free form intro to the end of the first song, if possible, up to timestamp 950. He's an incredible talent and he really shows it here. Hey, thank you so much for the awesome information and the generous donation. Just before we get rolling today, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and let's get to it. Señores, Dios Dion. Ah, this guy. Yes, I've seen him before. Absolutely phenomenal. Drums, keyboards and singing at the same time. guy looks like Matt Berry. <laughs> I wonder if any of my UK uh, viewers can um, attest to that. He looks so much like Matt Berry from the IT crowd. Father! <laughs> Straight away, obviously, there's a lot of things to note here. Main one being the non-matched sticks. So we've got a mallet in the left hand. And, you know, obviously normally used for like tune percussion, something like that. I don't know exactly what type of mallet that is. Drumstick backwards, it looks like, in the right hand, mallet in the left. That's not weird to me. My tutor at music school, he would often just play with, you know, grab whatever was around, back end of a mallet with like the ball of the mallet in his hand. It's, yeah, great. Different textures, love it. like a rather small kit doesn't it unusual just a really unusual player all around it's like a bebop jazz kit with uh definitely got the jazz setup one crash ride hi-hats four-piece kit you saw the timer counting down i can't imagine the nerves playing at a drum festival like this oh my god i'll be well definitely the first time i'll be so nervous and you know everyone in the crowd drummers watching you listening to every note oh man
One word. Texture. That's all. Further texture with the metal part of the brush. I think it's very squeaky there. Kick pedal. really unique type of player but so far without the singing and the keyboard nothing weird for me at the moment again don't want to keep mentioning it but having gone to music school storing uh different types of sticks under the armpit again my tutor used to do that and a lot of us drummers used to copy him and do the same thing and getting all these different textures out of the drums beautiful playing is just great this sounds like a it just sounds like a total jazz like a really polished Nice jazz drummer solo. Really, really good. I started to forget the, the idea. I started, this is incredible to come and play. Esto es increíble drums. venir aquí y tocar la batería. Just, you know, just, just drums, you Simplemente know? tocar la batería. It's, it's, it's such a pleasure. You know? tal placer. Nunca he estado en un, en un festival de baterista y es la primera vez. Así que gracias. I was just trying to connect with the room and uh, really good. And then, got a couple of things I want to share with you today. Quiero compartir con vosotros un par de cosas. I'm going to start off with a song. Voy a empezar con una canción. Que la voy a hacer por aquí. It gives you an insight into how loose his snare wires are there. I think that's a really common uh, issue people run into when they tr when they over crank their snare wires um it kind of just kills it totally and you notice there when he played his keyboard a lot of snare rattle let the snare breathe and let it do its thing you know it's okay for drums to ring drums ring they resonate we always go on about how uh, we've got to get maximum resonance on this kit and then we tape it all down and moon gel it down just let it do its thing it sounds sounds really nice i really like the openness and honesty as well he sort of mentioned before that he started to lose his idea on the opening solo and he was just trying to get used to the kit and the room and how he was feeling at his first drum clinic or festival so whew, i can imagine uh, how nervous he would be ain't no love in the heart of the city ain't no love in the heart of town ain't no love is sure enough for pity ain't no love cause you ain't around <laughs> sorry to keep pausing just before we kick in here he's about to do everything i think so what you're expecting with a multi-instrumentalist i'm going to be completely honest don't expect much. You normally think of it as being a party trick, right? So, oh, my friend, yeah, he plays all the instruments. Oh, yeah. Yep, I bet he does. 
add another layer to that. Oh, my friend plays all the instruments at once. That's when you just go. Okay. The chance <laughs> that it's going to be really good. Um, in my experience, very low. Um, and it doesn't have a good connotation with me normally. So the first time I ever saw Josh Dion, I yeah, was pretty blown away. Let's see what happens. something about the hi-hat yikes man okay i'm i've seen one video of josh dion before so i knew to expect some madness there's one i can't remember what it was called the one i watched where he was pretty much full on the whole tune playing keys playing drum one-handed drum kit one-handed sorry and singing that was absolutely mind-blowing this is mind blowing also in a different kind of way, just the the soul. And I really felt there was a point there where it was 
almost like off the rails, just the drums just kept changing and they just kept following the vocal phrasing. And, you know, we often hear about guys like John Bonham, you know, vocalizing while they're playing. Lots of great drummers vocalize when they play. Just like great keyboardists, you know, you get the jazz pianists like, well, Keith Jarrett's the extreme, but a lot of them, um, and they'll vocalize, do make really strange noises while they're playing. And these singing drummers, they've got some intangible, some strange connection through their body and their vocal cords and their mouth to their hands and their extremities and the drums. And they play different. They really phrase things different, especially if you're the vocalist, you're the lead vocalist yourself. You know exactly how you want to phrase things, whether you want to sit a little bit behind, a little bit ahead, right in the middle you're in total control of that and it's um it's really special it's it's different it's different but it's really special i really dug that castitis greek onus thank you so much for being such a generous paypal (laughs) donator and um, i'm really glad to get to your pick man and i'll catch you on the next video all right ciao